Hello there, I hope we're all well. Um, this evening is about psychic development and the most common obstacles you come against. Now, the word psychic um, can mean a lot of things to different people. To some people it's something that's really quite exciting and to others it's something that's really quite daunting. There's quite a few uh, ways of describing uh, psychic and in terms of psychic ability so some people may see see the word as being associated with something very mystical and others see perhaps the word being associated with something um, suspicious so what I'm going to do um, this evening is obviously have a look at for you the most common areas that you come against as far as the development questions and the obstacles as far as your own sixth sense are concerned and the views of other people okay so what I'm going to do first though is cover some of the the areas that are really quite important to you I have actually got them here in front of me so for instance this is an example there are three different types of clairs, as I would call them. So you have your clairvoyant types, you have your clairsentient types, and you have your clairaudient types. Okay. Now the word clair means clear. It's a French word for clear. So to give you as an example, if you are a clairvoyant type, you are someone who's going to be much more able to see things, to see images, to see um, orbs, as an example, to see maybe um, people standing at the end of the bed, um, which is really quite common for people in um, some stages of psychic development. You also find that you're better at visualizing in terms of meditation. Now, for those of you who are more of a clairsentient type, you're going to be more of a feeling type. So you will start to pick up information through your senses, most likely through the solar plexus region first. So for a clairsentient type, how you receive things is often really quite different to a clairvoyant type. You will feel energy. You're not going to necessarily see it. So for instance, when you're doing meditation, you will be able to feel senses and the difference um, for instance some clairsentient types feel things as different temperatures so different body temperatures um, different experiences along those sorts of levels now if you are more of a clairaudient type your skill is going to be more directed towards mediumship and mediumship is specifically talking to those who've passed over now, clairaudient types pick up information through their hearing. And it doesn't mean to say you've got a voice telling you to do something. It's much more of a subtle, um, energetic feeling that is a little bit like phones, telephones before satellite. So telephones before satellite had a slight, slight delay to them. So the information that comes through when you're more of a clairaudient type, you'll have a slight delay to it. So it can take a, a second or so for you to be able to decipher that information. Now, one of the very clear blocks within that is if you have a over busy mind. If your head's very busy, you will not be able to hear that information clearly. And whether that comes from an outside influence, so someone who's passed over who's trying to communicate, or whether it comes from your own psyche. So a lot of your development process will be from your own psyche. So you will receive information in terms of your, your own voice, but it's not the loud one that's up front, it's the very quiet one that sits behind. And that becomes more clear for you the more you develop. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of background as to the different main types of psychic areas. Now, one of the really 